What was the real strength that Wayne Gretzky had to become uh, really top, top grade uh, in his field? Was it his capacity to pay attention in a very linear manner and really zero in with focus as maybe a golfer does? Or was it something else? And what we hear about with Gretzky is he had lateral perspective. He had the capability to see in a wider range than anyone else on the ice. That he, he talks about knowing where the puck is going. Well, he knew where the puck was going because he could actually see where it was being launched from and get some sense of that field in front of him because he had such a, a wide, range of, wide range of perspective. I share that with you because I, I think the transitions that most of us who are in the innovative field have is the capability to see laterally. Not to see in depth at great de detail, which is what I certainly did in my PhD, was to go right down to the level of the cell and try and understand behavior, which is probably more of an emergent property like water is out of hydrogen and oxygen. Consciousness and perception and learning and memory may well be emergent properties that you can't possibly discover through a, a microanalysis of the structure of polypeptides, which I was moving from one untrained animal to a trained animal to identify wh where a memory was in fact coded. Or the work going on at the cellular level in terms of monitoring the action potentials of clusters of cells from an animals that were paying attention to certain stimuli versus others to try and track where the attentional switching mechanism in the brain was. I don't think that the, the degree of focus to that detail is really where discovery is found. It's with those individuals that can see relationships that are probably tangential, but maybe may not be seen as significant at the moment. For those that can uh, uh, abandon their current way of thinking, and as Steve Jobs says, think different. Sometimes, sometimes it isn't that linear analysis that leads us into insight and discovery, but the craziest associations that you could imagine, sometimes only to be heard in a bar.